Pakistan. You may have heard about it, but not the truth. So they were shooting in Pakistan. Militants have attacked the stock exchange building in Karachi. The land where the oceans, mountains, lakes, deserts and cities collide in an explosion of culture, history, amazing food and world-class hospitality. My journey will take you from city to mountain, from north to south to east to west. A journey of a lifetime. A journey I will never, ever forget. Welcome to the real Pakistan. Good morning everybody, it is 7am here in Shigar Fort. This Serena Hotel is absolutely stunning and this morning is a beautiful day. The sun is kind of cascading over the mountains. I think it snowed last night as well, all of the mountain peaks are covered in snow. So beautiful. Okay, you guys, we're on our way to the waterfalls now, and we just hit a checkpoint. And the guards here are so nice; they want to be part of the vlog, so I'll come and say hi. Do you want to be part of it? Hello, how are you? Salam. Assalamualaikum. What's your name? Abisin. Abisin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Okay guys, we've just driven up the most beautiful road I think I've ever driven across. I am physically shaking from how beautiful this place is. We've just made it to Skadi Valley. And look at this. This has to be the most beautiful part of the world I've ever been to. 
How is this even real, man? So amazing, Pakistan, you are amazing. <laughs> Don't look up, don't look up, don't look up. Okay. Can I look now? No, exactly. Okay. Now you can look up. Wow. I am so wet, but that was the most epic thing I've ever done. Pakistan is just surprising me every single day. Absolutely incredible. Okay, you guys, I don't think you can see me. It's pretty dark, uh, but it's 7 p.m. now. We just got back from the waterfalls and I had dinner again with the host family. They're so amazing. But up on the trip just said they have a surprise for me. So we're traveling three hours now into, I think into the desert. I'm not 100% sure. And they said, we're going to be spending the night somewhere. But I have no idea what we're doing. So I'm excited and I'll show you what we do. Good morning, everybody. So. Last night, I had no idea what we were doing, but we drove three hours into the mountains. You can see them all behind me covered in snow, so stunning. And we actually arrived at a natural hot spring. Here in Shigar, three hours away from kind of the town center, there is a natural hot spring in the middle of the mountains. I didn't get any vlog footage because it was pitch black. It was in the middle of the night. But yeah, when I tell you it was about one or two degrees outside, and when you get into the hot spring, which is steaming hot, and you lay back and you look up at the sky and all that's in the sky is the galaxies and the stars. And you're laying there, surrounded by mountains, when it's freezing cold outside, in the warm, hot, steaming water, looking up at the stars. One of the best experiences I've ever had in my life and one I will never ever forget. These. You can see these landscapes. These landscapes are so raw and so amazing. You can see all of the snow covered peaks up there. We've taken a four by four. I've really got to thank uh, Zulfi for being so hospitable and taking us up here because no tourists ever come here. And I think I'm probably the first person from the UK to experience this. And yeah, I'll introduce you to Zulfi now and you can say hi. So this is Zulfi, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. What's the best thing about living in Shiga? Shiga, here to live, assalamu alaikum, first of all. Here to live, the benefit is that it's a nice place and there's no problem. And here, everything we can get easily. The life of the town is a beautiful life. There's no tension in it. And people can see everyone on your face. Everyone can see everyone on your face. And everyone can see the peace of mind. And there's a peace of mind. There's no problem here. No problem, no tension, no trouble, no trouble, no trouble. So the life of the town is very important. In my opinion, the life of the town is the best. Amazing. And why should people come to Pakistan? Pakistan 
लोगों को पाकिस्तान जो है ना इस लिए आना चाहिए क्योंकि जो है ना यहाँ पे नेचुरल खूबसूरती है बाकी खूबसूरती हर जगह पे है मगर उन जगहों पे जो है ना मतलब बनावटी खूबसूरती है यहाँ पे आपको एक एक चीज़ नेचुरल मिलेगा हर चीज़ नेचुरल में नेचुरल जो है ना ऑर्गेनिक खाना मिलेगा हर चीज़ नेचुरल जो है ना मिलेगा इस वजह से जो है ना यहाँ पे जो है ना लोगों को विज़िट करना चाहिए नेचुरल वाटरफॉल लेक्स मेडोस आटम आप अभी देख रहे हैं आटम भी बहुत खूबसूरत है तो यहाँ पे एक एक चीज़ जो है ना नेचुरल है इस वजह से मैं रिकमेंड करता हूँ कि पूरे पाकिस्तान में जो है ना लोगों को जो है ना गिल स्पेशली गिलगित पाकिस्तान में लोगों को विज़िट करना चाहिए Amazing! Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Hello. Good morning, guys. We arrived. in Skadi main town pretty late last night and we came in checked into the Himalayan hotel just behind me and we all kind of crashed out because we were so tired from traveling the last few days have been so epic it's kind of made us really 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 tired but today the adventure begins again and yeah the views here are just so amazing the clouds have kind of rolled in so i think it might snow today which is really exciting as someone from england i don't really see snow that much so yeah, i'm really really excited let's get the day going Also because tomorrow is the 15th of November the elections are happening up here in the northern part of Pakistan so tomorrow is going to be really busy traffic wise so I think we may drive to Hunza overnight tonight so this will be my last day I think in Skadu it's been such an epic time I can't really believe what we've done over the last few days it's been really really amazing and blown all of my expectations out of the water so Yeah Pakistan you've been so amazing so far. I've only been here. This is my 6th day now in Pakistan and yeah here's to many more so let's go. This is mad. This is the first snowfall I've seen in about 6 or 7 years. It's absolutely stunning. Look at all of this. Oh, the snow is so heavy. So, we're on our way to Dosai National Park and this park is usually closed because of the weather at this time of year, so I feel very very blessed to be able to come here and these are some of the most spectacular views I have ever seen. I have to thank Abna Trip for getting us in because most of the time we can't we're not allowed to get there um but yeah let's go to Dersai and yeah this is amazing okay so can we are the land of giants so it means in our language to down the zameen so it's very beautiful the perfect time to visit the sites in summers but uh, now we are trying to be on the top in november let's see if we can make it or not it's about 14000 feet about the sea level uh, and it's the second highest plateau in the world so if you anyone want to come to your site then the perfect time is uh, july or august but uh, this is also a very good time let's see if we can make it or not yeah let's head up there Okay, we were on our way to Dersa National Park, but it's a little bit too dangerous to go up the mountains. It's too snowy, so we're going to stop here. But I mean, look at this view, man. 
this is like this is otherworldly I fall, I'm falling more and more in love with Pakistan every single day and just you can see just the river like cascading all the way down the mountain all of these peaks over here snow is falling incredible man Okay, so if the beauty of the snowy mountains was not enough for you, here at the bottom of the valley there is Sapporo Lake and here actually is a huge water source for the whole of Skardu city and this place is absolutely stunning. So up in the national park is home to bears and the amazing snowy leopard but down here is just as beautiful it's so incredible and i can imagine in summer where all of these colors are so vibrant it's a really snowy cloudy day today as you can probably see all of the mountains so the colors are a bit dulled down but it's still so beautiful so so amazing you can see all the snow up here and that's where we came from all the way up in the valley which is shrouded in mist So let's head back to Skardu City. Man, I feel really emotional. This is so beautiful. Alright you guys, we're back in Skardu main town and we just had some amazing food at this local restaurant. But let me just introduce you to this amazing guy. Dang to <laughs> Hello! Hello Kidoki, this is me Hanan and I'm from Skardu. Uh, you can say I'm a tiny artist. 
I make videos, I can play music, and also in DJs, I'm working as an entrepreneur. Uh, I'm a tour guide. Ah, this. No, I think it's just, <laughs> no, no, okay. really? Yeah. I have to say everything. No, just whatever you want. Okay, so that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go. He plays really good music, so we're gonna go and check out the music, and then. Yeah. This is the rhubarb, often referred to as the lion of all musical instruments. It creates a beautifully captivating and enchanting sound. As the sun went down, the playing continued, and so did the dancing. So, I've heard that instrument the incredibly beautiful instrument only through YouTube videos and that's the first time I've heard it in person live and it's one of the most mystifying beautiful instruments I've ever heard and I feel very lucky to have witnessed that live how amazing was that that is once in a lifetime experiences and yeah what a wonderful way to end this incredible week here in Skardu I feel Amazing. Pakistan, you have been so incredible so far. But the journey now begins to Hunza Valley. But first we have to take a 10 hour drive overnight to get there. And people have told me the road we're driving on is considered the most dangerous in the world. So let's go. From the sun-glazed Lower Katura Lake to the highest snow-capped Dosai National Park and everything in between. Skardu was an adventure of a lifetime, but now the adventure continues. It's time to move on to Hunza Valley. <laughs> 